Tens of thousands of Brazilians took to the streets in defense of free elections and against President Jair Bolsonaro in several cities across Brazil, just a couple of months before upcoming national elections. Protests took place in at least 49 cities, including almost all the capitals of the country. The demonstrations also launched the letter to Brazilians in defense of the democratic state of law. The official launch of the letter, which has nearly 1 million signatures, took place at the law school of the University of Sao Paulo. These actions were organized by the El Bolsonaro campaign, a coalition of diverse people's movements, trade unions, and civil society organizations. Bolsonaro has launched a targeted campaign against Brazil's electronic voting system. His allegations that the system is fraudulent have been called baseless by the citizens and opposition parties. Bolsonaro is pushing for paper ballots to be used in the upcoming elections. He has threatened to reject the results of October's first round presidential election if he loses under the current electronic voting system. This has triggered unrest among the people who see these statements as laying the groundwork for undermining the results of the upcoming elections, particularly since discontent against Bolsonaro is rising. The letter to Brazilians in defense of the democratic rule of law was prepared by a group of former students of the law faculty at the University of Sao Paulo. It makes reference to the 45th anniversary of the letter to Brazilians from 1977 when a movement led by Professor Jofredo da Silva Teles Jr. denounced the illegitimacy of the then ruling military government. The letter states, Jofredo's lesson is embodied in our constitution. All power emanates from the people who exercise it through their elected representatives or directly under the terms of this constitution. Our elections with the electronic counting process have served as an example in the world. We had several alternations of power which respected the results of the polls and led to a Republican transition of government. Electronic voting machines, as well as the electoral justice, proved to be safe and reliable. Imbued with the civic spirit that underpinned the 1977 letter to Brazilians and gathered in the same free territory of La de São Francisco, regardless of the electoral or partisan preference of each one, we call on Brazilians to be alert in the defense of democracy and respect for the election results. In today's Brazil, there is no more room for authoritarian setbacks. Dictatorship and torture belong in the past. The solution to the immense challenges facing Brazilian society necessarily involves respect for the results of the elections. By the morning of Thursday, August 11th, the letter had over 925,000 signatures, including those of eight presidential candidates. Current president and candidate for re-election Jair Bolsonaro did not sign the document and criticized the initiative. During the reading of the letter at the University of Sao Paulo, large banners read, Dictatorship Never Again, and State of Rights Always. Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, the former leftist president who is running against representing the Workers' Party and leads Bolsonaro by double digits, said, Defending democracy is defending the right to quality food, a good job, fair wages, access to health care and education. This is what the Brazilian people should have.